I'm Vagelis. I am an associate professor here and specializing in operations and supply chain management. I want to give you a sneak peek into the kind of innovative teaching we are up to uh, at the university. And, and I'm going to do that by uh, sharing with you what we call a cinematic case study. I want you to put yourselves in the shoes of Sarah. You have graduated the University of Bath, you have built a long-standing career managing companies, and you're appointed as a CEO in a company called Food Solutions, a company that have had 25 years of remarkable growth is now facing a downturn in sales performance. Let's see what the, uh, the chairman of Food Solutions have to say to Sarah when she joins the company. Welcome to the company. It's such a pleasure to have you on board. We're expecting great things from you as the new CEO of Food Solutions. However, I am most concerned about the recent downturn in sales. I'm unclear myself if this is a temporary blip or part of a bigger issue. So uh, Sarah is managing a bunch of people. Let's start with Marcus, the CTO, and see what he has to say. I'm doing a bit of initial fact finding about FS, and I wanted to get your perspective on the challenges and opportunities that the company are facing. Good to hear from you, Sarah, and I look forward to hosting you here at the R&D Centre. We really need to up our investments in R&D to develop a new breakthrough technology to recapture our uniqueness. So Marcus speaks about the competition, but also the fact that uh, food solutions have lost this first position as the market leader. What does a CFO have to say? And here is an email from, from him. So Sarah emailed him a few days ago, and John came back to say, well, all those are good ideas, but we have not seen sufficient investments in the long term. Let's move on and see what we have to say about our people. The, the human resources uh, VP Tolani um, believes that uh, the people are great, uh, what they are doing is great, and she doesn't think what, what we see is a big issue. Probably a temporary small downturn so here it is, R&D, finance, HR. I wouldn't say that we are, what Food Solutions is facing is a small issue. It's certainly not a catastrophe. There might be a need for realigning the strategy of the company or even considering a major transformation. So one of the main things Sarah could look at, I'm referring to Porter's Five Forces, a very simple yet powerful tool that looks into the company it's competition, the threat of new entrants and new competition, their suppliers and their buyers. The next thing Sarah would do is apply SWOT analysis. Again, another popular yet very powerful tools that look into internally the company, the strengths and the weaknesses they have, but also externally and each environment, the opportunities and the threats. Now, the last thing Sarah would do, and I'm going to leave you with that, is considered the future. Remember, the chairman said, I need you to tell me what the recommendations are for the future. So what is the future strategy we should develop to beat the competition and to become again the market leader? Thank you very much, everybody.